What's going on guys, The Ian Beatdown, I'm back with more Fate Unlimited Codes. The last time we started off Heaven's Fill with, uh, who I tentatively refer to as Sakura Alter. Now we'll be looking at the only other Heaven's Fill contribution, and that is Saber Alter. See, I keep the naming scheme, because, you know, it's like one's evil, the other's evil. <laughs> you get it? Anyways, yep. Yeah. Saber Alter. A character often misunderstood, and I'm fairly sure it's because nobody understands her or actually ever played the visual novels. So, to uh, carefully... Oh my god. <clears throat> to carefully break this down, during the events of Heaven's Feel, True Assassin had been kind of killing the servants to feed to uh, this shadow creature, which was turned out to be Sakura as she's trying to fill the Greater Grail with uh, mana to reuse. In certain cases, though, some of the servants were repurposed. Saber was absorbed by the mud and basically tainted by it. The taint turned her into what is tentatively referred to as Saber Altar. She was no longer the same saber that we had seen before. By which I mean she had basically just turned into a a giant slave for lack of a better word for lack of a better word. The irony of this is that despite this conversation and this is supposed to take place during Heavensville Saber Alter basically has no fucking character in Heaven's Feel. She shows up, she tries to kill people, that's about the extent of her character. She's brutal, ruthless, and doesn't care about her old connections. She'll kill anyone that stands in her way. That's the extent of her character. She isn't actually given some depth like a lot of side characters until Hollow Atraxia, where she also picks up some of her lesser habits that are remembered, such as her eating habit. But that is basically the extent of Saber Altar. Saber Altar is a tainted version of Artoria. This is a king who no longer battles for country and men. This is a king who seeks strong opponents and overcomes them with sheer power. She seeks a challenge. She seeks to have her might tested. She seeks to destroy her opponents. And that's pretty much the extent of her character. She doesn't hide Excalibur anymore, she just lets it hold she just lets it go on. A pure red taint of evil. Oh fuck. Fuck you. Of course, by using the uh, the mud of the Holy Grail, she has uh, she is able to augment her own powers, creating darker waves and blasts and stuff like that. It's never really explained how she can do that, just that she is. It's supposed to be, I think, her dark, her mana like manifested or some shit. I also don't know what the point of the eye shield cover is, but it's just how she first appeared. <laughs> that's that's just a thing she has. It, it does very little to actually hide her her identity. But yeah, during the course of actual Heavensville, she's just basically treated as a giant slave. She doesn't do much. She just she does what she's supposed to. She fights with Berserker. That's actually the first time we see her. Uh, before Berserker is repurposed as well. Which, ironically, despite being dipped in the black mud like Saber is, he doesn't become an altar. Instead, he just... He just gets like wrapped in like blind shit or something. He, he basically just becomes blinded by the light. There's gotta be more to that move, isn't there? Yeah, I thought so. God. Okay, so I can do it multiple times. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, yeah, it's just multiple hits then. That's kind of cool. But yeah, she only has like a couple fight scenes in the actual series where she battles against Berserker. That's pretty much it. And then I think the only other time we see her again is her battle against Shiro and Ryder at the end where using combined effort, uh, Shiro and Ryder overcome her and Shiro is the one that manages to defeat her. That's really all there is to her. 
again, she got some more character, uh, like, ex expanding in Hollow Atraxia, but given the weird nature of that seri of that visual novel, a lot of it was kind of like a mixture between serious and goof goof. Like, it's the series that gave us the, ber the Berserk car, and also that gave us the pulling the Ahoge from a Saber's head uh, is what turns her alter. So, yeah. Take that as you will. Final swing. Aw. Oh, well, that was cool. I got the whole three swing off. But, yeah. But yeah, she has no not a lot of character. I guess it's just to point out how much of a doll she had become. But yeah, it's weird. I don't I don't get the point of her character in Heaven's Fill. I get it was to point out that she had become evil, but I mean, yeah. And like I said, Hollow Attracts, it just got weird. Now, aside from that, she's just become kind of like a, a... She was she was the first altar, and unfortunately, it's not exactly explained all that well how she became an altar. Because like I said, she got dipped into the mud and was repurposed as a different servant, having now become something that didn't exist, more or less. But Berserker got the exact same treatment, treatment and all he did was get black splotches on his body that blinded him and made him stronger. So... A little bit of inconsistency there. And given what we know later when it comes to altars from FGO, they just make up whatever excuse they want for calling a servant an altar. <laughs> it's like, Jean Altar? Uh, she was a mish wish made on the Holy Grail. Ku Altar? Yeah, another wish made on the Holy Grail. Atalante Altar? Fuck it. That's just Atalante with the Noble Phantasm active, but nah, fuck it. It's an altar, I guess. We don't feel like calling her something else. That would be weird. They say having several Artorias that they actually just call, like, different names. Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah. I could sit here and nitpick that all day, but it would take... <laughs> It would be redundant, and I would just repeat myself a lot of it. But, yeah. For the most part, though, I do like this characterization of Saber Alter. As opposed to say it's like... Saber. Like, the characterization for Sakura was weird, because it's kind of a stark contrast from her. But I do imagine this is kind of what Saber Alter would be like if she was given more personality in Heaven's Field. She would be this ruthless fucking bitch, for lack of a better word. Ow. Okay, Shiro. Look here, bra. I'm gonna need you to chill out with those attacks. Snap into a slam gym. Ow. Hi. Oh, no. No, 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 no. God damn it. There we go. That is fine by me, Shiro. All right, how, what do I gotta do to activate this? All right. God, stop it. There we go. Excalibur Morgan. Otherwise just known as a evil Excalibur, pretty much. That's, that's, that's really the only difference I can tell between that attack. Well, he's definitely dead now. I fucking skewered him. It's weird seeing Shiro's name rot not written with a U. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> now on to what I was actually fighting before this. Even though I guess technically Berserker gets taken out before their scuffle with, uh... With uh, with Shiro for as little as it lasts, and I think the next time they try to come in here, I guess technically that's when uh, that's when they're trying to rescue Ilya, yeah, because it's a uh, fucking uh, what is it? I'm trying to think. Uh, that's when Shiro teams up with Kotomine of all fucking people, and then he does, of course, the uh, um, Nine Lives Blade works. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, hi, I need to remember name.
Oh, that was bad because you were blocking, but you know, that was still- OH SHIT! Ow. Ow. Fuck and you. God, that thing's got reach. Jesus Christ! But yeah, this is exactly how I'd expect Saber Alter act if she had, like, more personality. It's kind of like, I am powerful. You're nothing. You're not worth my time. You're not even bother worth remembering. <laughs> it's like, stand down or stand in my way. The choice is yours and yours alone. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I've kind of uh, like, like I said, she didn't have a, she didn't have a big, uh, she didn't have a big role in Heaven's Fill, despite her, uh, despite that being her appearance. Uh, she just kind of played back fiddle to like again with like uh, with like the Sakura thing. It's like they just played back fiddle to Zoken. I still cut you. I bitch. Fuck you. You fell right in my blade. That was not the attack I was trying to go for, but it worked all the same. It, it's kind of funny. It looks like he. It looks like I almost perfectly planned for him to land right there, and it's just like cut. I just also realized I haven't been beating the shit out of enough that I've lost my uh that I've lost my mask either. That's kind of funny. Let me guess, final opponent is gonna be uh it's either gonna be Ren or it's gonna be Sakura. It's gonna be one of those two. I'm willing to bet it's maybe probably Ren. Because she was the final person who actually fought Saber Altar, for lack of a better word, using Zeltric's sword. This is also kind of poetic, considering uh, Ryder is the servant who, I guess, by technicality, defeated uh, defeated Saber Alter. But that was also with the help of like Shiro using the uh, Rias, whatever the fuck it's called, the big shield thing that Archer uses to, def to not deflect, but to like stop Gable. Can I hit you from over here? I ah, you got too close. I was gonna say I have to know. Fuck you. <laughs> I really want to know what the reach is on that attack. Oh no, it's myself? What? Uh... Okay, sure. Yeah. It's also kind of a shame we never actually got to see scenes like this where she is communicating with Sakura. Very rarely were these two actually on screen at the same time, now that I think about it. I'm gonna assume this is Saber from like Hollow Attracts to get timeline where all three routes were just kind of like slapped together like super combining in a sense because that's what Hollow Attracts to get in a sense was it, it had knowledge and information from all three routes because it's like the opening basically says like according to Saber or not Saber Shiro it's like Saber destroyed the Greater Grail but Saber was in contract with Ren, which is technically UBW, but destroying the Greater Grail is Heaven's Feel. But he also knows that Sakura is Ren's, uh, is Ren's sister, which also happens on Heaven's Feel. And also they saved Ilya from becoming the Grail, which technically happened in Fate Route. 
And he also technically developed a relationship with Saber in Fate Route, which carries over. It's really strange. Hollow Atraxia is strange, because it tries merging like three different timelines together. And I get that's kind of supposed to be the point of that, but god, it does not work. At least I don't think so. Alright, so I have to just fight my goody goody two shoes version. Yeah, <laughs> you're a good guy. I'm a bad guy. Man, if I actually, if I cared enough uh, and didn't already use off my Noble Phantasm, I would just do it against you. But since I don't have to, I'm not going to. Ow. Jesus Christ! Fucking hit her from like half the map away. Goodbye. Alright, well that went well. At least well enough. My sword is the breast of a dragon, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, let's get this over with. How could this happen to me? Got my ass kicked by my evil self. いのりここにも all right, well, that was interesting, kind of. Eh, it was, eh, it kind of lost me a bit there at the ending, but, eh. But yeah, all right. Well, I guess that with that, that's going to be it for now, guys. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta.